everyone! Today we're going to read Puss in Booth. Have you read this story? Well, anyways, I will read Puss in Boots today to you. So, are you ready? Then let's start! Puss in Boots. There was a miller who had three sons, but one day the miller died. Oh no! The three sons decided to divide their father's property. A mill, a donkey, and a cat were all that was left. I'll take the mill because I'm the oldest, the first son said. Then I'll take the donkey, the second son said. So the youngest son took the cat. The youngest son sighed. The cat said, Master, don't worry, I will help you. The youngest son was surprised. Just give me a pair of boots and a bag. He couldn't believe the cat, but gave him what he asked for. Wearing his boots, the cat went near a rabbit hole. He put grass and carrots inside a bag. Then he put the bag in front of the rabbit hole. He hid behind the tree and waited for the rabbit to come out. A few moments later, the rabbit jumped into the bag. The cat quickly tied up the bag. The cat ran to the castle. He gave the bag to the king and said, Your Majesty, this is a present for my master, the Marquis of Carabas. A few days later, the cat went to the king again. Your Majesty, this is another present from my master. The cat took out three, two birds from the bag. He continued to bring animals to the king again and again. The king wanted to know who the Marquis of Carabas was. One day, the cat ran to the youngest son and said, Master, go to the river and swim right now. Now? Why? The youngest son didn't understand. Trust me, hurry! So the youngest son began to swim in the river. The carriage of the king and the princess came close. The cat hid his master's clothes behind a rock and shouted, Help! Help! The Marquis of Carabas is drowning! The king stopped the carriage. The Marquis of Carabas, go and save him! The servant jumped into the river. Your Majesty, the thief stole my master's clothes. The king said to the to his servants, "Bring the best clothes for the Marquis of Carabas." The youngest son changed into the new clothes. Then he bowed to the king. Your Majesty, thank you for saving me. The king was happy to see the Marquis of Carabas. The king and the princess liked him very much. Marquis of Crobus, why don't you ride with us? The youngest son happily got into the carriage. Meanwhile, the cat ran to the wheat field before the carriage. He shouted to the farmers. When the king comes and asks whose land this is, tell him that it belongs to the Marquis of Crobus. If you don't, I'll scratch you with my sharp claws. A few months later, the king came and asked, Who is the owner of this beautiful wheat field? The scared farmers bowed their heads and answered, It belongs to the Marquis of Carabas. Again, the cat ran before the carriage to the rally field. Soon the king will come and ask, Whose land is this? Tell him that it belongs to the Marquis of Carabas. If you don't, I'll scratch you with my sharp claws. 
the cat showed his sharp claws to the farmers and scared them. A few moments later, the king came and asked, "Who is the owner of this land?" The farmers answered, "It belongs to the Marquis of Carabas." The cat went to the most beautiful castle in the world. A scary monster lived in the castle. The cat asked the monster, "I heard that you can change into other animals. Is that true?" Of course. Do you want to see? The monster changed it into a lion. The cat acted. Like he was scared. The cat asked the monster again. Then can you change into something small, like a mouse? That's easy. The monster changed into a mouse. Quickly, the cat swallowed the mouse. Later, the king's carriage arrived at the castle. Your Majesty, welcome to the castle of the Marquis of Carabas. The cat said, "What? This castle also belongs to the Marquis of Carabas." The king liked the rich Marquis of Carabas even more. <clears throat> Marquis of Carabas, will you marry my daughter? The king asked. The youngest son. The youngest son was very happy. Of course, I will, Your Majesty. The youngest son and the princess got married. They lived happily ever after with the cat. The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story, Puss in Boots. If you did, please call me and ask what story what. Else, a story would you like me to read for you? So I hope you enjoyed today's story very much, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.